Good day. Do you wonder thinking why it is important to have a secure proxy server? Let me share a scenario with you. Imagine a banking organization having branches in various locations to support a huge number of customer base. To support the various customer needs they created different type of applications. They want to allow customers to access those applications remotely. They stored these applications in different web servers and placed these web servers in different locations. Now, the challenge is, how they provide a seamless user experience to their customers. They cannot provide different type of URL with exact details of the web server, such as IP, port details to customers. Sharing these details may cause security threats. So, what is the solution? Secure Proxy Server This will ensure that the access is secure and customer gets a seamless user experience. So how it works? Consider a user accessing the bank website. She wants to view her transaction details. The access request gets directed to Secure Proxy Server. It then requests the resource from the destination web servers and provides them to users. It acts like a reverse proxy and can be used to host a CA SiteMinder Federation and REST API components. It also provides security, SSL acceleration and load balancing. Now, the demo will show you how to install and configure a secure proxy server in CA SiteMinder. Browse to the location where secure proxy server installer is stored. Double click the installer to initiate the installation process. Wait until the installer initializes the installation wizard. The installation wizard of CA SiteMinder Secure Proxy Server gets displayed. Click Next. The license agreement page gets displayed. Scroll down and read the license agreement. The option I accept the terms of the license agreement gets enabled. Select it. Then, click Next. Accept the default location and click Next. Select the required JDK version and click Next. Wait until the installation finishes. The installation completes. Click Done to close the installation wizard. The next task is to the configure the secure proxy server. Click Secure Proxy Configure Wizard. Wait until the installer initializes the configuration wizard. Now, Select the version of the policy server with which you want to configure Secure Proxy Server. In this scenario, 12.5xx version is selected. Then, click Next. The host registration page gets displayed. Select the option to perform host registration immediately. Select Yes, I would like to do host registration now option. Then, click Next. Now, Specify the admin username and password details. The information you enter must already be defined at the policy server where the trusted host is registered. After that click Next. Specify the trusted host name and the host configuration object details. Similarly, the name you enter for the trusted host must be unique. The name of the host configuration object must already be defined at the policy server where the trusted host is registered. Then, click Next. Enter the IP address of the policy server where you want to register the trusted host. Then, click Add. Click Next. In the FIPS mode setting page, select the FIPS compatibility mode option. Then, click Next. Specify the name and location of the host configuration file, smhost.conf. The wizard lists the default location. Click Next. Specify the agent configuration object details. The agent configuration object that you enter must already be defined at the policy server where the trusted host is registered. Then, click Next. Specify the name and location of the web agent file, webagent.conf. The wizard lists the default location. Click Next. Specify the server name, admin email address, HTTP port and SSL port details. Then, click Next. Now, Enter the Tomcat server information. Specify the HTTP port and SSL port details. After that click Next. Further, 
specify the shutdown port and AJP port details. Then, click Next. Select Yes if you want to enable the web agent. Then, click Next. Select Yes if you wish to host CA SiteMinder Federation components instead of deploying a web agent and the web agent option pack. This can speed up the time to deploy SiteMinder Federation. In this scenario, we are not using Federation, so let's select No. Then, click Next. Review the configuration summary and click Install. SPS is configured and the configuration files are installed. Once the configuration completes, click Done. Before you start using the Secure Proxy Server, you need to perform certain checks. Click Start, All Programs, Administrative Tools, Services. Ensure SiteMinder Proxy Engine and SiteMinder Secure Proxy Services are started. Then, you need to verify few parameters of the domain that you wish to protect. So, browse to the CA SiteMinder Policy Server Administration page. Enter the login credentials and click Login. Click the Policies tab. Click the Domain link. Click Domains. Search the domain you wish to protect. Click Modify. The domain details get displayed. Click the Realms tab. Click the Edit icon of the realm, which you wish to protect. Specify the resource filter as slash proxy UI. Then, to modify the rules, click the Edit icon. Specify the resource as a star. Add Git and Post Action in the Action List. Click OK. Again click OK to save the changes. Then, click Submit. Click Logout. Let's try to access the administrative UI on Secure Proxy Server. Notice it's protected, you will be asked to enter the login credentials. Enter the login details and click OK. Now, you can use the administrative UI to protect the required resources. Let me show you an example. Click text mode to create a proxy rule. Considering that the web server is protected at the root level, let's create a proxy rule. Any user tries to access the web server will be redirected to www.ca.com. After editing, click save. A message confirms that the task is completed successfully. Now, let's try to access the web server. Observe that it's asking for login credentials after specifying the login details. Click OK. Note it's showing the CA website as specified in the proxy rule. However, the URL still remains the same. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more, Visit www.ca.com/education.